Hello there everybody, Embrix here, and it has been so long since my last LEGO video. Like, it has been more than a month, so let me break it down to you, basically, where I was. So, uh, for a week, we went on a trip. The week after that, so week number two, I got a sickness from the trip, so I was sick, really sick, so I couldn't do anything. And then for the weeks, we had, each week, we were just... We had a huge blowout, blowout garage sale that lasted two weeks. And on top of that, I had a Marvel fun. And then I watched Endgame twice in a row. So, yeah, um, the hu we had a huge blowout garage sale. So, that took all my time. So, yeah, a lot has changed. So, uh, yeah, let's just get in, uh, in with it with this uh, moving update then. So, basically, I had a bunch of tables up here. Remember, with my shelves, my uh, sets, we needed those tables for the garage sale. So, there I put packaging. Here I put boxes and instruction manuals. Here are boxes that, you know, I either still have sets sealed or sets that need the boxes. And then here is, like, pieces. Here is all my Lego sets. And then here is my minifigures, and then here is kind of my rare pieces. You can see Infinity Stones right there, right off the bat. And then here are for my mocks, you know, like my box city and everything. Here are the figures that I'm planning on selling. Anyway, I got the Death Star, a couple boxes right there, and then, yeah, so I moved out all the tables. I only got two left, not including my studio one. So these two basically have a bunch of mocks that I still have to make video instructions for. Speaking of which, I found a much uh, better way to do that. Instead of like taking it all apart, reverse engineering it to find out how I built it in the first place, then like placing a brick, taking a picture, I take off a brick, take a picture, take off another until there's nothing left. And then when I make the video, I just play the pictures backwards. So it basically makes the same uh, instruction model, except I don't have to reverse engineer it and then put it back. So it's just. Uh, half the time basically which is good because i'm running uh, low on time here's the next mock i'm working uh, working on making instructions for so yeah i finished like for the park the beach i've done a lot so like um even though i haven't made a video for a month i have done a lot and yeah like i've done so much for it like uh before this update i haven't packed any of my pieces i didn't flatten any of those boxes you know i didn't remove all the tables i didn't make instructions for so many of my mocks i didn't uh enter a lego stars competition which i did uh on lego ideas and yeah i've done so much and um sadly though uh because like with the garage sale and the move and all that i have not had time to report on uh news so uh let's just do it quickly the city space theme i think it's fresh i like it uh i think i'll get like the mobile uh the kind of space station and that's it oh and the people pack but the rest you know i think they're fresher than i would have imagined but you know again space just isn't for me and then uh the other city sets i like the people pack fairground um so yeah i have been checking in with lego a lot so uh the other city sets i like the people uh fairground and um yeah that's pretty much it and you know the other sets are just i think too expensive but then um uh again for the harry potter sets i think i'm gonna get every single one of them just like this uh this uh sorry now it was last year so yeah um this is pretty good that's just there for me to eat when i'm bored oh yeah i had so much space so uh i've always had one light i've always had two lights and um I just never had space, so I only had one, but now that I have so much space, I have two lights, so the studio is going to uh, actually get brighter, so that's one thing, and um, so again, the first week I was on trip, the second week I was sick, the third week uh, I had my marvel -thon, though I did pack again, and then the fourth week, you know, was mainly dedicated to the garage sale, and speaking of which, on the garage sale, it was a huge success, uh, I made... Um, it was, again, a huge success, $988. So, yeah, that is huge. That's a huge amount of money. And um, so um, I, already, <laughs> I already spent $100 of that money. I bought, uh, like, a Marvel set and a Star Wars one. So um, I'm down to $888. Here's what I've decided to do. The $888 from the garage sale and any more money I make because I didn't sell all my stuff yet. Uh, and I'm not selling any Lego, by the way, um, except maybe those figures because those are duplicates. But anyway, with that money, I am going to buy old Lego sets 
not anything new. The new Lego sets, I'll have to earn money for those. But everything from the garage sale, I'll use to buy old Lego sets. Retired people are charging insane amounts on eBay now. So um, here's what I'm aiming for. I'm going to get a bunch of those Star Wars Rebel sets I mix, missed out on. I definitely want the Ghost. And then, you know, some other Star Wars sets that I really liked. $100 ones that I missed out on. Um, and then I want to get the Batman v Superman sets. You know, I love the $30 Batmobile that I missed out of and the rooftop battle. So that's another thing. Uh, and then I want uh, to get... Um, well, I found this... Uh, place from my private seller you know uh where i can kind of like get a bunch of loose lego so i'm gonna do that and then i also got a couple more things in that as well i'm forgetting one right here but oh yeah i want i want two things that are pretty like that will cost a lot i'm trying to collect every single lego iron man armor ever from the mcu so that means every single set that had a lego iron man in it that's like unique i will get so it's gonna cost so much because a lot of people want all the iron man armor so any set with iron man just jumps in price and there will, will be uh, no spoilers for endgame in this video which i have seen but anyway uh so there were, and by the way it was great but anyway so that's one thing i want to do and uh from the sets i have from the sets i ordered again with the hundred dollars i already spent i have 14 sets more that i need to buy to have every single armor so hopefully i can do that um by the end of the summer maybe a bit longer than that hopefully by the end of this year and then the last thing is also something really big i'm trying to buy all the hobbit and lord of the ring sets and i didn't find like a bulk deal or anything it's just i'm reading the hobbit and lord of the rings right now and um i've always been a fan of the movies so yeah i definitely want to do that and you know doesn't see it's like harry potter you know uh it, like it came back which is fortunate but you know i it doesn't seem like hobbit or lord of the rings will be coming back so um yeah i'm gonna try to get all of them and not like the blu-ray exclusive comic-con exclusives nothing like that you know just the mainstream set so yeah got a lot of lego i want to buy and you know uh with the money from the garage sale that's where it's going to be going so don't expect me to get a bunch of new sets with the money uh just expect me to get a bunch of old sets which i've already named but you know i will try to earn more money to get the new sets that i want already and i've ordered a couple new sets already like 300 dollars worth which is again a lot so yeah it's been a while but that's it for this video hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye